Welcome to Applied Biological Materials Growth Factors and Cytokines video series. In this video, we will introduce what are growth factors and cytokines, how they function, and how they can be applied in scientific research and clinical settings. Growth factors and cytokines are vital signaling molecules that control cell activities in an autocrine, paracrine, or endocrine manner. They are a key to a cell's biological function by binding to specific receptors and activating associated downstream signaling pathways, which in turn regulate gene transcription in the nucleus and ultimately stimulate a biological response. Serving such a crucial role in cells, growth factors and cytokines are absolutely indispensable to human physiology research. At Applied Biological Materials, or ABM, we offer a wide range of recombinant human growth factors and cytokines at competitive prices for all your growth factor needs. Growth factors and cytokines affect a wide variety of physiological processes such as cell proliferation, differentiation, apoptosis, morphogenesis, metabolism, wound healing, and tissue homeostasis in adult organisms. Abnormal expression or regulation of growth factors and cytokines can instead cause various diseases such as cancer, liver fibrosis, and bronchopulmonary dysplasia. In the past, growth factors and cytokines were thought to respectively serve as cell growth components and immunological response factors. More recently, as different lines of research have converged, it has been found that cytokines and growth factors can have similar functions and therefore they are now used interchangeably. There are several different signaling mechanisms a cell uses to best suit its purpose. Paracrine signaling occurs between neighboring cells where the signals elicit quick responses and last only a short while due to the degradation of the paracrine ligands. In autocrine signaling, a cell signals itself through a component that it synthesizes, leading to a biological response within the same cell. Lastly, in endocrine signaling, growth factor and cytokine components are secreted into the blood and are then carried by blood and tissue fluids onto target cells, whereby subsequent responses are triggered. Growth factors can also be divided into various families or superfamilies based on structural and functional characteristics. An example of a major growth factor family includes the transforming growth factor beta, TGF beta superfamily. In this example, all family members have dimeric structures and their heterodimeric receptor complexes consisting of type 1 and type 2 receptor subunits with serine or threonine kinase domains. Within the family, Complex interaction remains the same. Following ligand binding, the type 2 receptor phosphorylates and activates the type 1 receptor, which then activates a SMAD-dependent signaling pathway that regulates gene transcription. For research purposes, growth factors are used in a wide variety of cell models to study their functions and their intricate signaling pathways. Based on their roles, many growth factors and cytokines have also been utilized for preclinical and clinical applications. Recombinant human platelet-derived growth factor, PDGF, for example, has been used to stimulate angiogenesis, migration, and mitosis of mesenchymal cells in preclinical studies. Although clinical applications of cytokines are considered standard treatment for certain diseases, there are also side effects accompanied with them. For example, the administration of GCSF has been reported to cause osteoporosis, bone marrow necrosis, and acute coronary syndrome. High quality growth factors must pass vigorous quality control testing for purity, quantification, and activity. Purity tests such as SDS PAGE can determine whether or not the product is contaminated with nonspecific proteins and or endotoxins that can trigger undesirable effects such as cell differentiation. Quantification is used to achieve product size and results. 
Commonly used protein quantification methods are Bradford colometric dye, UV visible spectroscopy, and densometric comparison. Growth factor activity is tested through specific bioassays that determine the relative strength of the growth factor to a standard. At ABM, our growth factor and cytokine products are extensively tested through these quality control standards before they are delivered to our customers. If you have any questions and comments, please leave them below and we'll answer them as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other video series and subscribe to get the latest updates. Thank you for watching.